Hi, I'm Ray Scott, and welcome to Visual Art Photography. Around this time last year, I put out a video concerning butterflies, macro photography of butterflies. And what we were looking at there was a way to get in really close and show the eyes and the faces of butterflies, images like you see up here. All right, and we were basically using narrow depth of fields and shallow depths of field, that kind of thing. But today, we're going to be taking a look at shooting a different part of the butterflies, more, more specifically, the wings. So we don't care about having the head in focus or the tail or anything like that. It's all about the wings. What we're going to attempt to do is come up with mosaic-like abstract photos of butterfly wings. Photos like you see over here. There are a few things we need to keep in mind for this project. One, a macro lens or something that gets you really close is a big help. You may want to use a flash depending. Often I do and just as often I don't. It depends on the lighting outside. You want to get really close and you want to use small apertures, say around f8, f11, maybe even f16 if you can manage it depending on the light. The reason why is because you really need maximum depth of field because you're in close and just any variation in that plane of focus may cause part of your wing to get out of focus. So you want to use as much of a small aperture as you can. You are going to be cropping generously in post-production because uh, you may not be able to get that close to the butterfly, depending. If, if you're shooting during the day and the butterfly is, is getting that sweet nectar from the flower, as an example, it's going to be moving around, which means you're going to have to be moving around, which means uh, there's more chance for error and not getting the shot you want. It's not impossible, but it's a little more difficult. If, as an example, you're shooting early in the morning before the sun really gets to rise and warm up the cold-blooded butterfly, it's not going to be moving. It just may be resting on a plant stem and you can shoot to your heart's content and the butterfly won't be moving at all. Just depends on what time of day you're doing it. And really, really important, and I just touched on this, it's really important to keep the lens square to the wing of the butterfly. Here, I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we have to lay in a little bit of grass and, and a flower. <laughs> and if you come across anything like this in the field, run, because this is frightening. Uh, oh, here's the little guy being formed here. They give him a bit of a neck and a nice face. And he needs some wings. Wings, there we go. So the butterfly now has uh, a couple of wings. Now, this is where, oh, there's the photographer, sorry. And he's happy too. So now we have to get the lens square to the to the wing. No matter what angle the wing is at, the lens has to be square to it. Okay, so this is what I mean. You see it forming there? Square. If the wing is straight up, let's say 90 degrees, go to the left here, and straight up, and you put the lens straight up. If the wing is on an angle, then you put the wing, or you put the lens on an angle. I apologize for the kindergarten drawing, but I think you get the idea. So now that we know how to align our lens with the butterfly wing, uh, as square as we can to it, now you can get in there and take some photos that are really, really abstract and very mosaic-like. Now, you will have to crop, unless you can get really, really close uh, to the little critter, you're going to have to crop. But obviously, the closer you get, the more square you are, uh, the more detail and the clearer the image will be. And it really does start taking on a look of something that's very abstract and very mosaic-like, depending on the butterfly, uh, depending on all sorts of different things like that. Love those blue butterflies, but not a great year for me in terms of butterflies. I didn't make it to the gardens. Now look at that. Some kind of a tapestry, some kind of a mosaic, beautiful colors and beautiful uh, patterns. Again, the mixing of colors and the texture and the patterns. You can even make a panoramic if you want. And that is one shot and it is one wing of a butterfly and cropped in a panoramic sort of way. 
I hope that gets those creative juices flowing in terms of mosaic abstract butterfly wing photography. It can be a lot of fun. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.